It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now for our story, Bullets for Ballots. It's election eve in Gila Corners. But strangely enough, the excitement and spirit which goes with an election eve is missing. On the little main street, in the casino, in the blacksmith shop, the talk is about who's going to be sheriff of Gila County. Honest faces look hopelessly at one another. Well, they know that the lawless element is strong enough to force another term for Sheriff Dodson. Another term of killing, riot, thieving, and more important, another year of no justice for the honest man. Brad Cheevers, the owner of the casino, and Sheriff Dodson talk behind closed doors. Close that door, Brad. We don't want no sneaking pool cat listening in. Sure don't. Can't afford to have no slips now, Dodson. Just heard from Jess a few minutes ago. Said feed's getting low back there on the draw. If we don't move them 800 head out, we're going to lose them. Can't move them now. This election's got every busybody with their noses in the air. They can smell a bad deal. We can't afford it right now. What are you afraid of? Ain't I the law? Yeah, of course you are. And anybody who don't like the way I'm serving them can walk in here and say so. Yep, they can walk in. <laughs> but they ain't walking out. <laughs> like Claude Burns. Yeah. I guess the sheriff has a right to gun a man down in self-defense. Yep. And a right to seize his 800 head of steers. Of course, it don't make no difference, but maybe you better get rid of that herd before folks start nosing around. Like Lem Purdy at the general store. Lem Purdy. Why, he ain't worrying us for my order. He don't dare back nobody but me. You got too much at stake to lose now. And I don't aim to lose. With your boys tending the ballot box and me getting a posse of the law and order group to ride out of town, only your boys will vote. Yeah, there's only one thing. Oh, what's that? I saw Hopalong Cassidy and his cowpoke friend in Lim Purdy's store. Huh? What's wrong with that? He don't like you, Sheriff. He don't, huh? Well, now, ain't that just too bad? I just thought I'd tell you. Brad, we got too much at stake. I ain't stretching my neck in a hangnoose. Before I do that, I'll see Cassidy and all his kind in Boot Hill. There's trouble brewing in Gila Corners where the folks are determined to elect a new sheriff. And the present sheriff is just as determined that they won't. Hopalong and his friend California first learned the seriousness of the situation when they talked to Lem Purdy, owner of the general store. Well, now, let's see, Hoppy. Your bill comes to $7.30. What's the 30 cents for? Those six hands full of crackers California's been eating. The four hands. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, don't pay it, Hoppy. <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll add it onto your jelly bean account. Here, write it down, Hoppy. I got my hand caught in that darn coffee grinder. Can't hold a pencil in it now. Okay. Cassidy, seven dollars. California, thirty cents. <laughs> Who was that fellow just went out? Stranger. Maybe here helping Brad Cheevers elect that ornery sheriff again. Seems like everyone's against Sheriff Dodson. And a good reason. Gunning down a man in cold blood. Nobody knows what happened to Claude Burns' beef. Huh? Eight hundred heads. Seems like there's enough good folks in town to elect a new sheriff. Everybody's afraid to vote against him. Brad Cheever's gunslingers watch the ballot boxes, and one of Brad's boys is deputy to count them. You mean uh, nobody's going to run against him? You can bet your bedroll there is. I am. You? Yeah, me. And I'd win, too, if it was honest. Well, if you've got the gumption to run against him, we're for you, Purdy. You're darn right. You got yourself two votes already. Uh, two votes ain't enough. Well, we can get more for you. Yeah, boy. and we can do better than that. We'll see that every post and every tree gets a Purdy for Sheriff poster. Oh, oh it's Betty. 
Uh, you know my little girl, don't you, Hoppy? Little girl? When will you ever realize, Daddy, that I'm 20 years old? Hello, Hoppy. California. Hello, honey. Gee, girl. <laughs> Seems like just a little while ago you were just a gangling little critter. But a uh, pretty one. <laughs> and then... here you are, a fine young lady. I don't want to be a lady. I want to help Daddy in the store. Well, you'll get a chance to help him a lot now that he's running for sheriff. No, not you, Daddy. Oh, it's not true. Now, now, don't carry on, Betty. There ain't a thing to worry about. No, Cherie, nothing. I <laughs> mean, Hoppy's good helping him. But Brad Cheever's... Ah, uh, we'll worry about Brad Cheever's when we get to him. This is going to be an honest election. Come on, California, let's get down to the print shop. As soon as the posters are off the press, we'll be back, Bertie. I'll be waiting for you, Hoppy. <laughs> Looks like I miscalculated again. Huh? Oh, hello, Jess. What are you talking about? Looks like Purdy's going to try his luck at being sheriff. <laughs> Who's going to back him? That Cassidy fella and his sidekick. What? You sure? Sure shooting. Hung around outside the store and heard them laying plans. Oh, they was, eh? Don't nobody know about it. Looks like they're going to. That Cassidy headed for the printing shop. Said something about posters. Why, they can't do that. That broken down maverick at the shop said they didn't have no ink. When I wanted some posters for Dodson. I don't like the deal, Brad. You can pay me off and let me ride. You don't get a cent till them cattle is sold. I've been dealt at from the bottom, but I ain't never hung around till the shooting. You was hired to watch them cattle back in the door. And you're playing the string to the end. That's what you say. That's what this says, Jess. Huh. Ain't scaring me a bit. Shooting out spoil your act. Don't push me too hard, Jess. Remember, they're still looking for the coyote with three fingers who held up the Fargo. I ain't got him yet, mother. Well, ain't gonna look far for him if you get skitterish. Now get back out there to the shed and keep an eye on that herd. Sure wish I'd have kept on holding up stages. Seems kind of like honest work when I see fellas like you. If this wasn't election week, I'd gun you down right where you're standing, Jess. Now, get. All right. But you better have all your boys voting, because they sort of think this Cassidy's on the winning side. Get out. Oh, I forget what week this is. I hope the ink holds out, Hoppy. Ah, we're doing fine. About 50 more bills and we'll have enough to cover the county. No, folks, see, Brad's gang ain't got a chance. Yeah, looks like I'm going to have some explaining to do. Explaining? I told that Brad Cheevers I didn't have no ink to run up posters for him. Looks like if I'm staying in business, I'll have to get up a good story. Well, there's the whole caboodle of them. Uh, don't smear the ink, California. Let them dry for a few minutes. Sure is attractive to the eye. Ought to let folks know who's running. We got a visitor here, Hoppy. Mm. Uh, howdy, Brad Cheevers. You got some ink for these things. I uh, scraped some out of a can. And use it to print this pack of lies? For honest law enforcement, vote for Purdy. Well, a fellow's got to make a living, Brad. A uh, nice looking poster. Huh? Right, Purdy poster. Sometimes a fellow gets his neck out so fur he finds a rope around it. Look, I don't want no trouble here, Brad. Trouble? Nobody tells Brad Cheevers he ain't got ink. And find some to print something to give me. I ordered the posters, Cheever. And we're putting up every one of them. Go ahead. My trouble's with Bill here. I'm back in Bill, same as I'm back in Purdy. And you can tell your sheriff friend so he'll know. I'm tearing up every one of these posters. I'm... Look out, California. Why, you interfering thing off the ground and through the bridge, Hoppy. Now get up and get back to your sheriff friend and tell him this is the beginning. And lots more coming so we rid the county of your kind. <laughs> Remember this, Cassidy. When the election is over, you'd better leave town. It won't be healthy for you around these parts. Well, looks like we're all going to have to pack up, Hoppy. Ah, uh, the election isn't over yet. And we ain't going to be letting folks know about voting for Purdy if we don't get them posters up. And don't worry about Cheever. He won't be bothering you, Bill. If he comes back here, I'm doing my talking with a six-gun. You ain't aiming to put them up around town, too, are you, Hoppy? I sure am. 
I'm putting one up right here in front of the blacksmith shop. <laughs> Looks right good, Hoppy. <laughs> Them big letters is easy to read. Ah, we'll let folks know an honest man is running. But, but if Cheever's gunslingers all vote and keep scaring folks away from the polls... I or... think I know how to handle that part, if my plans work out. Somebody ought to put one of these posters in the casino. Yeah, Brad Cheever should tear it down. Ha <laughs> ha, might be worth a try. Come on, let's show him to Purdy. You got the posters, Hoppy. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Better be putting them up fast. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that powerful reading, Purdy? Say, you can see that 50 rods away. Eh, my daughter will be back in a few minutes to tend the store, so then I can help you put them up. Thought you'd take the mill road, Purdy. I know every post on it, Hoppy. Me and Hoppy will take the stage line, right? And we'll meet back here in the morning. Yeah, morning of election day. By golly, I got a feeling you're back in the winter, Hoppy. You bet we are. Well, we got a couple hours before dusk. Let's go. The girl's in the store alone, Brad. Be sure and keep the handkerchiefs up around your faces, boys. Let's get going. Remember, boys, I don't want a stick left that ain't broken. Come on. Wait. You better put out the light. It's a work, boys. That's it. Stop it. Get out of here. Get up. Well, there's one. There's one to go. It's dirty, Tom. And you can tell your pa. I feel that nasty. Shows their face around the after tomorrow. They can pick out a place to fall. Because we're turning them down. in California intend to see that the folks in Gila Corners have a chance to elect a man of their choosing as sheriff. Brad Cheevers and his gang have kept the present sheriff in office by terrorizing the honest voters and don't expect to allow an honest vote to upset their plan. So while Hoppy in California and the honest candidate, Purdy, are out putting up posters, Brad's gang proceed to break up the Purdy General store like it was hit by a summer tornado. What's wrong, Hoppy? I smell gun smoke. No light in the store. Mm, you think something's happened? We'll soon find out. Now stay down, California. Don't hear nothing, Hoppy. We're going in. Stay along the wall, California. Right behind you, Hoppy. Get out! Get out or I'll shoot! Huh? Pardon me, Miss Betty. It's Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we was afraid something had happened. Something has. I've been sitting here in the dark. I thought I'd choose the first one who came back. First one to come back? I mean, that crowd. They just left. Wait, I'll light a lamp. Uh, what was that uh, battle of crackers? I just swore I thought I could find it in the dark. The crackers are <laughs> gone, just like everything else. There. Now you can see. Hey, what happened here? Why, oh, the place is kindling wood. Where, 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 where's your pa? He didn't come back. Didn't come back? If they've hurt my daddy... No, 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 no. It ain't no use to worry. Did your father come back at all this evening? No. Maybe in the dime, Hoppy. He's had plenty of time. You stay here with the lamp lit and the door's bolted, Betty. We'll find your father. Be sure to lock the door after us, Betty. I will, Mr. Cassidy, and good luck. Hanging too good for those thieves. Gun. We gonna go out the mill road? Right. I could gun them side and winders down one at a time for what they've done on that spot. Well, they'll pay for it. Ruining all them crashes right away. Easy, Topper. All right, let's go, California. Now, look close now. See if he can make out any posters on those posts. This moon breaking out behind them clouds sure helps a body to see. Wait, there's a poster. Yeah, I see it. Uh, well, he, we know he come this far. Should be an easy trail to follow. Come on. That makes three of them so far, Hoppy. Uh, we'll keep on, California. Hold it. What do you see? Some paper over near the fence. The 
whole bunch of posts. And look, his hammer. See, and there's been some scuffling going on, too. Then this was Purdy's last stop. Oh, they gunned him down. No, I don't think so. Well, what they done with him, then? Well, they might need to produce Purdy if folks ask about him. Then they're hiding him out, huh? Looks that way. One trail ends and another starts. We have to move fast. Well, it's a sure bet they didn't go north. And nothing but Greeks would. I got a hunch they'd be holed up in some cave over to the west of that pass. Yeah, maybe you're right. And we can look. Ah, uh, without another candidate around, Sheriff Donaldson will win for sure. Think they get him holed up in one of them caves, huh? The only other place I know would be... What, Harvey? Claude Burns' place over by the draw. Oh, ain't nobody been living in it since Sheriff Dodson finished him off in, in self-defense, I guess he called it. Deliberate killing. We have to even that up, too. Somebody's told his cattle. I'd say time if we look there first. Then we can circle around back to the pass. Well, there ain't nobody in the ranch house. California. I smell smoke. Me too. Green wood, too. Somebody's got a campfire out of sight. The breeze is blowing from that little draw back there. Come on. Quiet now. Maybe we can see something past this boulder. Hear that, California? Cattle. Didn't know there was any around here. And they're hungry. Like there's not nothing to eat but snakes and cactus. And finding Purdy is more important right now. See something, Hoppy? Right down there between those two big boulders. A lean-to. And a wisp of smoke coming out the top. Could be the end of the trail, California. We'll have to get down back of the boulders so we can stay out of sight. You see anything through the window, Hoppy? That stranger who left the store today. Anyone else? Looks like someone lying on a bunk past the fire. Can you see who it is? Wait a minute. What's Purdy? He just looked into the fire. Well, what are we holding up for? I don't want any gunplay. I'll toss this rock out in front toward the bushes. I hope he comes out to look. Go ahead. So, when he steps out, I got him. <clears throat> there. You heard it. He's sneaking toward the door. He's got his six gun. Steady now. Now, California. <laughs> you ain't taking me. Oh, yes, we are. Use his belt, California. Hog time proper. I'll enjoy it, Hoppy. You all right, Purdy? <laughs> I'll have you loose in a second. <laughs> there. Happy. I knew you'd find me. Is Betty all right? Did you see her before you come out here? Don't worry. She's all right. They don't dare do anything to spoil the election. Looks pretty even. Even? Six votes either way could do it, Purdy. And let's get back to town and see what... Oh, whoa, hold up, Purdy. I got other ideas. Yeah, I wish them cattle had shut up. They'd drive a man loco. They're yeah, locked in the draw. Who do a thing like that, Hoffman? I aim to find out. Maybe when I know that, we'll know what to do next. Yeah, I saw some of them when they was bringing me here. Looked like an Air Barbie brand. I knew it. Claude Burns brand. Why, that's even sheriffy... Now it's clear. Purdy, I know how we can outwit those coyotes. First, get me a six gun. No gun. Too many to sling lead back at us. We have to outsmart them, and I know how it can do it. When do the polls close? Well, the law says six o'clock. Good. We stay right here till three o'clock tomorrow. Uh, election let's... day. Let them think Purdy's still gone. Right. Now you get into town in the morning, California, and have the printer drop a remark to Brad Cheevers that there's a herd of beef roaming loose on the Burns Ranch near the draw. Yeah, and what else? Nothing. Just get back here as soon as you can. I'll be back, Concho. Good. If things work out, we'll need you. Oh, shit. The herd broke out of the drawer. Broke out? How'd you know? Never mind how I know. What are we going to do now? Oh, I ain't loose on that herd, Brad. Looks like we got to move fast before anyone snoops around. Seems like Jess had let us know. He could hog Todd I Purdy. I told you not to trust that three-fingered varmint. We're wasting time. Get the boys out there pronto. How many of them? All of them. Ten or twelve. And tell them to ride hard. But they ain't voted yet. They'll be back in time. Anyhow, with Purdy gone, we don't even have to count them. He loses on the technicality. I'll ride with him. See, they don't cut none of the herd for themselves. They're thieving critters. Good idea. Then get back for the doings. You can make a speech for me like you've done before. How about the voting? Cut out, John, about it. The boys is crowding the ballot box and hardly nobody can get to it. Get them critters back in the drawer and cut out the palaver.
Now, if the riders can't find the herd, they'll ride in the draw to see where they are. Then we close in behind them and hold them in. If I am sheriff now, I'd jail every one of them skunks. Are you sure the news got to Brad, California? I was standing by the blacksmith shop and Brad Sheevers run like a polecat was after him. Plumb into the sheriff's office. Then we can get some action soon. You mean now, Purdy? Well, the sooner the better so I can get back to my store. What's left of it? Never mind. Hey... From the dust they're making, there must be a dozen of them. Uh, we're getting behind these rocks and letting them go through. Right. Then spring the trap. Happy. Brad Chivas is riding with them. Better than I expected. Careful of my rifle dart party. Got a hair trigger on it. I won't use it unless I have to. Happy, they're going in. Wait till the last one's through and they're opening. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of them, Happy. That eleven can be mighty important to you, Bertie. They're stopping. Inside. Good. Now cover me, California. Fast one reach it, we'll drop, Hoppy. You boys can get off your horses now and take a rest. Huh? Brad Cheevers, there's only one way out of this draw. And the first one who tries to make it gets a 45 slug. It's a trick. Just take it easy, Brad. You might as well rest. You're not going anywhere. We're sitting in this passage with our guns handy. The first one who makes a move starts trouble. We ain't done nothing. That's just what you're going to keep on doing. Nothing. Most five o'clock, Hoppy. Well, I guess I can handle things alone now, California. You and Freddy get back to heel of corners. I'll get these men's horses and guns and leave them here to stew. Let's get close up to the office so we can hear Sheriff Dodson hopping. Not too close. I don't want him to see Purdy yet. First thing I'm going to do after I'm elected is run that polecat Dodson out of town. <laughs> He's looking around for Brad. Quiet, California. Fellow citizens, I've been waiting the legal time for my opponent, Purdy, to get here. Like as not, he hightailed it out of town. It's two minutes to six. I guess you might as well go home. I'm sheriff by law, seeing there ain't no opposition. I was about counting them votes. They're being counted now. I'll put the voting figures on my bulletin board. You can all see him tomorrow. We want Purdy. You can't want something that ain't here. You're wrong there, Sheriff. Who said that? I did. How'd you get here? Why, it's up along Cassidy. He's got Purdy. Purdy's right here. You're darn right, and I'm here to stay. The boats will say who's paying. I got the totals right here, Sheriff. Shall I read them? Read them. We want the count. For Sheriff of Gila County, Sheriff Dodson, 59 votes. Hooray! For Lem Purdy... Sixty-six votes. <laughs> well, Purdy, uh, Sheriff Purdy, I, <clears throat> I know you'll make a good lawman. Well, I'll sure try, Happy. And with them gunslingers cleaned out, things will be better around here. Yeah, but I sure pay the price. Everything I own smashed and ruined. You know, Purdy, I think we can straighten that out for you. Folks are pretty good to their own kind here. Eh, yeah, it'll take a lot more than I got left to open another store, Hoppy. But I was just thinking, if I talk to the folks just right, like as not they'd agree to selling that herd of beef out there in the draw. Well, sure, uh, they don't belong to nobody know how. Daddy. Betty, honey. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Daddy. I'm giving you a big kiss and a big hug. <laughs> uh, let's go, Hoppy. Hoppy and California are the ones you should thank, honey. Good. I have a kiss for them, too. Uh, we we got to be getting there. Uh, uh, Hoppy, uh, see the darn time. Uh, we ain't never going to get back to the bar 20. <laughs> and we're... now a kiss for you, too, California. California. Wait for me, California. California. Hold on there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> humiliate. That's what it is. Darn humiliate. What all the girl wanted to do was give you a kiss. All she wanted to do? Hoppy, it ain't often I talk to you like a father, but it's my duty to warn you. You can step around a bear trap, you can dodge bullets and duck knives, but by golly, when a woman starts after you with a kiss, there just ain't nothing to do but beat a hasty retreat. Ha, 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 ha. Well, let's go then. <laughs> Goodbye from Hoppy in California until the next time they ride out from the Bar 20 for more adventure and excitement. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. 
Bullets for Ballots was written by Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>